Brother Oscar X Occultic Master Part 1 of Ivory Coast The Goddess Maya of World Food When I was in the occult I wanted knowledge and power. I wanted to rise in level. I was ready to pay the price yet God's children are unwilling to pay the price in fasting and prayer to rise in level. They want their pastor to pray for them. Since I wanted power I signed another covenant with another water spirit in order to rise in rank. Occultic manipulation of fetus. I agreed to sell him my sperm. Thus I was masturbating and the demon was coming from the sea to collect my sperm to take it beneath the sea. This water spirit was doing ritual and mystical practice with my seed. Then he was coming out of the sea on the surface world looking for pregnant women. And he was inserting these sperm in the womb of pregnant women in order to affect the gender and character of the baby. I mean if the woman was pregnant with baby boy the water spirit was causing the baby boy to be feminine. If the woman has a baby girl the water spirit was causing the baby girl to become boyish. These babies would be born with gender disorder in their personality. Over time I caused young people to masturbate in our quarter and their sperms were collected. By this water spirit. I caused ladies to masturbate and their liquid was taken beneath the sea. As a result, the water spirit was rising to the surface to cause babies to have personality and gender disorders. Baby boys were given women feature and baby girls were given male identity. As I was gravitating level in the spirit world a highly elevated man got me in an Indian sect. When I joined this Indian mystical order I was introduced to an Indian woman. She was actually the queen of the coast of the ocean the Mami Wada. She was the goddess who commands the ocean and the river. The queen of the coast controlled continental territory under the ocean, the ocean, and the river. In truth, the oceans are controlled by the angel of God. There is a God angel that commands the sea. However, the devil has also delegated the queen and goddess of water who is a principality of the sea such as the queen of the coast. When I got in contact with this Indian woman who was the queen of the sea she gave me the sixteenth power of the world for I was her sixteenth husband. This cursed lady of the sea is a prostitute for she sleeps with whoever she wants. When we got married beneath the sea she put me in charge of a massive kingdom underwater where I was ruling over Aquarius civilization and marine spirits. Many mermaids were under my authority for I was the king in that water city. There are countless of queens and goddesses ruling in that section of the ocean and the sea. In the water world, I saw the goddess Semiramis, a descendant of Noah who signed a pact with Lucifer for immortality. When she died she went to serve the devil under the sea. She is a powerful goddess of the sea controlling water. Later on, I began to work with another powerful queen of Thissi who is the wife of the god Mammon the finance minister of Lucifer. Maman Bridget is the queen of the sea who controlled the demons of poverty under the sea. She is married to Mammon. The Manipulation of World Food I want to talk about my service to one of the wives of Lucifer, the goddess Maya, the queen of the See, Maya is the principality in charge of world food. It is when I began to work in the food department of the world of Satan that I came to understand that the devil's heart and mind are in world food and nutrition. The food department of the world of Satan is governed by this goddess of the sea called Maya. This sea siren is the boss in charge of world food. I was working with this. Queen of the sea that controlled the world of Satan that deal with world food. The aim and main purpose of this sea kingdom of Satan controlling world food are to weaken God's children who failed to pray before eating. They failed to give thanks to the Lord before eating food and drink. Our powerful weapon that the devil is using in the end of time. One day she gave me the assignment of working in the markets of our city in order to infest and Poison the population through food and nutrient. Actually whenever the government and the local authority wanted to build a market or supermarket in the city, thanks to our intelligence gathering 
and espionage we knew about their resolution before it goes public and we were sending demons to enter their minds and influence them to select a land that is a residence of a demonic power. There are places in the city that are the seat and throne of demonic power. We wanted them to use demonic land that are haunted and whenever the market and supermarket were built on these land inhabited by unclean spirits. We were placing a net or spider web at the gate of every market and supermarket. Brother, the devil has placed guardian demons at the gate of every market of the world. Pray before shopping. Today God's children don't pray when they are about to leave their home in order to go to the market and shops. Many God's servants fail to pray before going to the market, they fail to ask the Holy Spirit to guide them to buy that which is good. They think they can buy whatever they want in the shopping center and supermarket. They lack discernment and vision, thus they were falling victim. God's children must learn to pray before going to do shopping so that they will be spared from items that are infested and bewitched. Many servants of God bring home items that contain demons. They bring demons in their homes thanks to items and accessories they buy in the market. We were mounting net and web in the market to catch people. When you go to the market without the Holy Spirit you will end up buying stuff that contain unclean spirits and bringing them home. As a result, your children will be bewitched. These items attached to demons gave us the legality of landing in your house to cause destruction. You must understand there is competition among sellers in the market. Thus many people and companies that are selling products in the market and shops have signed pact and covenant with demons in order to sell fast and sell more. For a product to become global, the company do rituals to demons for their articles. These products have specific demons inside them. Sellers go to the mystics in order to sell their product fast and these mystics work with demons that possessed, infest and even defecate on these goods. Demons pee and vomit on these goods when people sign packs in order to sell more. When I began to work for the sea goddess Maya, quickly we went on to set up and mount infrastructure, installation and logistic of control around the markets. In every market of the world, the devil has sent a butcher selling human meat. When you buy this human meat, you wonder why. The meat is tasteless in comparison with real meat. When you eat this human flesh, you come under manipulation and initiation. I want to reveal to you people of this community sitting in this church there is a python that transforms himself into a beautiful lady in order to come and sell stuff in your local market. She is extremely beautiful for when she passed people watch her in your local market. This lady python, who is a high-ranked which has many tables in your market. She is tall and big and she attracts attention in the market. We were selling human blood in the appearance of red oil and when you use their oil, the devil gets the legality over your life. Whenever intercessors prayed and intercede for the market there are positive effects. The angels were coming down to purify it and remove manipulation enchantment and witchcraft. When Christian rest from praying and interceding we were putting back manipulation. When they prayed again angels were coming again to remove spells and enchantments like a circle. The use of woman placenta in witchcraft. The sea kingdom of the goddess Maya is in demand of women placenta. Since many mothers don't get that placenta after delivery, many hospitals have signed contracts with agents of Satan who buy woman's placenta for various purposes in the world of Satan. They get women placenta from various hospitals and thanks to the combination with formalin they were designing cube meat and animal meat. The satanic entrepreneurs that designed the cube meat don't use it in their food. They use other natural combination because they use formalin to soak the woman placenta inside the cube meat. The purpose of formalin inside cube meat is to weaken the body and bones of God's children so that they will be weak and heavy in prayer. Many Christians want to pray and fast and stay in God's presence. 
They want to be closer to God but they are unable for they lack spiritual strength. They Heaviness and weakness they feel resulted from the various food and items they used on the earth. That are infested with demons for these foods and items have been enchanted and bewitched by the Enemy. Thus many satanic business leaders buy women placenta in various hospitals. When you asked For your wife's placenta after delivery they won't give it to you for they have signed contracts with companies that acquired them. The enemy steals children's destiny and blessing thanks to the placenta. Contamination of foods with blood and urine and fluids of the dead. In terms of food, I would like to tell you to use red sugar not the white ones that are made thanks to formalin and they give diabetes. I want to tell you to avoid tomato puree for it is made with lady menstrual blood of women. The photo of the lady on the box of Annie Tomato is that of a sea siren. The sister of this siren is called Guinness, the name of the popular beer made in Britain. The Lord said we should not eat the blood of animal because it is their soul. God's children must avoid animal kidney of blood for there is condemnation when you eat meat having blood. Whatever agents of Satan are selling in the market are not food. It is outrageous when you learn the Reality of what is sold in the markets. When you see a restaurant attracting the crowds don't go. There as there is manipulation and when a woman cook in public places a satanist is likely to drop. Something inside. In the end time, the devil is increasing sugar in children's lollies so that they will. Fall sick and die. There are children with diabetes because of sugar as these things destroy children. Or organism. Many of the waters sold in the street are fluids of the deads. There are waters that we buy in shops. That are mixed with human blood but many Christians are failing to pray before using what they buy. In shopping. When you drink water mixed with human blood, understand that the soul of the innocent victim is demanding justice against the executioner and since you are using their blood, you become his executioner and you become exposed. Pray before eating. If you play the fool with your prayer life, understand that Satanists and water mermaids have prayer lives and they don't play. I used to spend four hours in concentration and meditation in order to weaken God's children. I would spend eight hours in meditation to weaken God's children. We were praying to the devil but we were serious. There is a plate called 555 blades. When you use that, you are under manipulation for the 555 represents a demon who start his work at midnight. There is a demon on that plate. Today there is no discernment and people fall in manipulation. As a result, there will be heaviness and weakness and his prayer life will die. Brother whenever a woman of prayer was approaching the gate of the market, the guardian demon of the market was alerting us about the danger that was coming. One day a woman of prayer came to the market to do shopping. There was flaming fire surrounding her and when she was moving I saw a flaming sword moving before her. This means that the guardian angel of the Lord was ready and on the alert for confrontation. We were on the alert when this woman entered the market for her. Fire was burning the net. When this woman stopped before a desk to ask for the price of chili, I saw Flames of fire coming out of her mouth and demons that were on these foods were scattered. Running away from the flame that were coming out of her mouth. This woman was causing damage and demons were running away leaving the goods and food. Where they were dwelling. On that day many women who came to the market bought good food for. Demons that were infesting the food were scattered by the flaming fire of this woman of prayer. Many bacteria are a result of demons. When a woman has prayer life it is extremely dangerous for the world of Satan. A woman of prayer seems like raging fire when she walks in the street because everything stopped in the spirit world. We must understand that markets are controlled by the sirens of world food. Women of God that came in the market also purify the place thanks to God's presence in them and fire that covers them always scatters the demons and people benefited whenever women of prayer enter the market. But when they left the market, we always came back to bewitch the place again. One day a friend took me to a company where they were making cigarettes. We went there in 
spirit and we crossed the wall and we entered the company where they were making cigars. Later. We went to the cemetery and took human bones and we replaced the feather with human bones. Another day we went to a company where they were designing beer. I saw that they did. Incantation and demons came to pee on that liquid and when demons went away these people pee. On the liquid that was to be used to make beer. People don't know what they are eating and drinking. I had many agents that were selling food in the market yet the food that they were selling was not food. I want to remind you to pray for what you eat.